writing and story mapping with Mrs. Owen. So as you know, all week, we've been working on using transition words and phrases, as well as sentences in our writing. So for today, what we're going to do is, Mrs. Owens is going to build off of the transitional sentence that I chose, okay, to write my conclusion. Okay, so I'm going to use my transition sentence to help me build my conclusion. So, this short passage was the passage that you all had for homework the other night. After a short walk, we were nearing the reptile house, and I couldn't wait to see the new lizards and snakes that just hatched. The pictures I was about to take would be perfect for my research paper. I reached for the doorknob and turned it, but the door didn't move. I looked up and saw a big sign that said closed. Tears started to run down my face. So friends, if you remember, you had to choose one of three transitional phrases, okay? To, <clears throat> to transition this body into a conclusion. So friends, I don't know which, which one you chose, but I am thinking that all of them seem to be pretty good. All of a sudden, I saw a zookeeper behind the door, and I knocked as hard as I could. I tried knocking on the door as loud as I could. The zookeeper shook his head with a clear, we are closed, okay? So, friends, my thinking, right away, I can eliminate one. And I'm going to tell you why. I am going to eliminate Z, okay? Because when I read Z, it just seems like there's a big gap there. I'm hoping you notice this, too. Now, listen. I'm going to read from right here. I reached for the doorknob and turned it, but the door didn't move. I looked up and saw a big sign that said closed. Tears started to run down my face. The zookeeper shook his head with a clear, we are closed. So friends, right there, something is missing. How did I get from tears ran down my face to the zookeeper shook his head with a clear, we are closed? The story didn't say anything up until this point. The story didn't say anything about there even being a zookeeper in the story, right? So remember, the purpose of our transitional phrases and our transitional words are to tie our story together so that it makes sense. It's cohesive. We're setting up our reader for the next event that's getting ready to happen. So right away, C is a no. Okay, so now let's go back and look at A and B. Hmm. I reached for the doorknob and turned it, but the door didn't move. I looked up and saw a big sign that said closed. Tears started to run down my face. I tried knocking on the door as loud as I could. Okay, that seems pretty good. It makes sense because I just read that I looked up and saw a big sign that said closed, okay? And the tears started running down my face. I tried knocking on the door as loud as I could. So that makes sense, but it still seems like, eh, something is missing, okay? Something is missing. What's that something? Well, when I think about it, when I read from here, it says, I reached the door, I reached for the doorknob and turned it, but the door didn't move. I looked up and saw a big sign that said closed. Tears started running down my face. I tried knocking on the door as loud as I could, okay? So I see a sign that says closed. It doesn't say that I see anybody, but I started knocking on the door as loud as I could. Now, friends, I don't know if you've ever gone anywhere with your mom or your dad or your friend or your family members and wanted to go into a store, an establishment, and it was closed. Usually, when something says it's closed, we don't knock on the door unless we see someone, right? 
when we see someone that lets us know, hmm, well, maybe they just closed. There's still people in the store. Maybe they might, they might just let me in, right? So friends, for that reason, because it just says I tried knocking on the door as loud as I could, I'm gonna say, eh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna choose that one. But what I am gonna choose is A. Now listen as I read. I reached for the doorknob and turned. I reached for the doorknob and turned it, but the door didn't move. I looked up and saw a big sign that said close. Tears started running down my face. All of a sudden, look at that. All of a sudden, uh-oh, I'm getting ready for some new information. Something's getting ready to happen in my story. I saw a zookeeper behind the door, and I knocked as hard as I could. Now, friends, this, this transitional sentence makes so much sense to me. Why? Well, because... It's setting me up. It's letting me know that something is getting ready to happen. It's letting me know that an event is getting ready to happen in my story. Time is transpiring in my story. Then it tells me that I saw a zookeeper. Okay, remember I looked up and I saw a big sign that said the store was the, the zoo was closed. Okay, but now all of a sudden I see a zookeeper. I see a person, right, behind the door. And therefore, I start to knock as hard as I could. So friends, now that I've got my transitional um, sentence that I am going to use, now I'm ready to build on. I'm ready to start my conclusion, okay? So now let's see. How do I want to conclude my story, okay? Now you know in the conclusion of your story, this is where we do the attempts to resolve and the resolution, right? So... Hmm. All of a sudden, I saw a zookeeper behind the door and I knocked as hard as I could. Okay? Hmm. So now I'm thinking about what kind of a response is the zookeeper going to have to me knocking. Okay? So, since I'm optimistic, that means I'm hopeful. I am going to, I am going to, hmm. I'm going to allow the zookeeper to have a, a positive response to me, right? To my knocking. So here goes. Hmm. He heard me knocking. He heard me knocking and looked at me with kindness in his eye. Hmm. Okay? So, the zookeeper heard me knocking and looked at me with kindness in his eyes. When he saw my tears, comma, he walked over to where I was standing. Okay, so the zookeeper heard me knocking and looked at me with kindness in his eyes. When he saw my tears, he walked over to where I was standing. He walked over to where I was standing. Okay? Now. <clears throat> hmm. Through the glass door, I began to explain my situation. Okay? Now, 
what is my situation? What is my situation? What is my situation? Well, my situation is I need these pictures for my project, remember? I said I couldn't wait to see the lizards and snakes that just hatched. The pictures that I would take would be perfect for my research paper. So this is my situation, friends. So I'm going to explain this to the zookeeper, okay? I began to explain my situation. I told the zookeeper that I just needed a few minutes to take some pictures of the snakes and lizards for my project. Okay. So now, friends, I have explained my situation to the zookeeper. I told the zookeeper that I just needed a few minutes to take some pictures of the snakes and lizards for my project. Now, hmm, how is the zookeeper going to respond? Well, I'm optimistic. So, let's give him a positive response. So, The zookeeper told me that he could not let me in, but he could take a few pictures for me. So I could have them for my project. Okay. So friends, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What am I thinking? Yes, I am super excited because, yes, we have a solution, okay? So, yippee, I shouted. I hurriedly gave. The zoo keeper, my phone. Okay, friends, within five minutes, the zookeeper came. He had taken 10 pictures of the snakes and lizards for me. Okay, so friends, guess what happened after that? What do you think happened? That's right, I had to thank the zookeeper. Thank you so much, I said. I ran home thinking I am. Definitely 
going to get a hundred on my project. Friends, the end, okay? So friends, I am gonna go back to the very beginning and I am going to read this body of work along with A, which was the transitional phrase or sentence that I chose, and I'm going to read the conclusion of my story, okay? After a short walk, we were nearing the reptile house. I couldn't wait to see the new lizards and snakes that just hatched. The pictures I was about to take would be perfect for my research paper. I reached for the doorknob and turned it, but the door didn't move. I looked up and saw a big sign that said closed. Tears started to run down my face. All of a sudden, I saw a zookeeper behind the door and I knocked as hard as I could. The zookeeper heard me knocking and looked at me with kindness in his eyes. When he saw my tears, he walked over to where I was standing. Through the glass door, I began to explain my situation. I told the zookeeper that I just needed a few minutes to take some pictures of the snakes and lizards for my project. The, zoo the zookeeper told me that he could not let me in, but he could take a few pictures for me. So I gave him my, so I, so, excuse me, so he could take a few pictures, he could take a few pictures for me, so I could have them for my project. Yippee, I shouted. I hurriedly gave the zookeeper my phone. Within five minutes, the zookeeper came back. He had taken 10 pictures of the snakes and lizards for me. Thank you so much, I said. I ran home thinking I'm definitely going to get 100 on my project. So friends, as you can see, I was able to build off of that transitional sentence, okay? I used that transitional sentence to connect my conclusion. So friends, this is the same thing that you are going to do for your homework, okay? So I want you to choose whatever transitional sentence you came up with for the story about Gus or for the zookeeper story. I want you to use whatever transitional story um, sentence you came up with, whether you chose one or whether you came the or whether you want to use the one that you came up with, the additional one that you wrote. I want you to use that to build off of it and create your very own conclusion okay can't wait to see your work bye friends